In this video, I check out a lake that's been on my list for over 50 years and get a lesson on the geological events that have shaped this landscape over the last billion. And today, I'm joined by an old friend. Got a bit of a headwind coming back, but I'll keep that in mind so we don't get too ambitious, maybe going the other way. Yeah. After admiring the first of what would be many interesting rock faces, we discussed how this video could take shape. I can make this like a, an end trip only, like, I'll just be the cameraman, I don't even need to, to be in the show. Your subscribers will uh, unsubscribe. It's true, I can't afford to lose any subscriber. Like, exactly. Well, you, one drop represents like a 5% hit. <laughs> When I first looked at the satellite view of this region, I noticed a distinctive pattern in the bedrock. I couldn't explain it, but I knew a geologist who could. I'll use the rock cuts along Highway 69 to help illustrate the region's geology. I was told the rocks in this area are highly deformed gneiss from a mountain building event over one billion years ago. The gneiss has lighter colored bands of minerals similar to granite and darker bands of minerals similar to a basalt, but coarser. These bands formed because the rock had extreme pressures and temperatures at the base of this mountain range, causing all kinds of changes. This is why the rocks are so deformed and folded. Fast forward a billion years or so, the mountains have almost entirely eroded away, leaving these deformed rocks exposed at the surface. The harder bands are more resilient to erosion, so they stick out more, while the softer bands erode away more quickly. I'm told this is why we get these long, elongated and curvilinear lakes in this area. They're basically following the layers that eroded away faster, leaving depressions in the ground surface. This lake also has another interesting bit of history. It was the location for a movie called Surviving Crooked Lake, a story of a summertime canoe trip that turned into a nightmare for four young women. Though we only paddled five kilometers in, Crooked Lake is over seven kilometers long, but very narrow. It's more reminiscent of a river than a lake, but given its geological history, that's not surprising. The lake contains northern pike, bass, walleye, and a variety of panfish. Lake access was easy once we arrived at the lodge, but the gravel road in is really only one lane wide in places. We had a good day. The weather was perfect, and I finally had the chance to see the lake that I had passed by countless times while driving along the highway, but was always just out of sight. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you liked the video.